While many ancient cities have managed to thrive into modern day metropolises, others eventually turned into ghost towns that were left to become buried in dust. Thanks to the dedicated work of archaeologists, they finally come to light once again. From the capital of the ancient Persians to former thriving centers of commerce, here are the most mysterious abandoned ancient cities. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye, but today I'm right here on Taltianic, bringing you this video. Number 11. The Ancient City of Petra This historical city in Jordan is most well known for its buildings cut from rock. It also goes by the name of the Rose City due to the color of stone that it's built from. Around 312 BC, it was the capital of the Nabataeans, who were nomadic traders that would settle down the desert. The mysterious city was an important crossroad for trading commodities like silk and spice. The place was forgotten about until it was rediscovered in 1812, and to this day, there are still things we don't know about this place. It was described as one of the most precious cultural properties of man's cultural heritage. This theater that you see here was carved out of the cliffside. The photo we see here is of the well-known El Deir translated into the monastery. Visit this one though while you still can. Water erosion and heavy amounts of tourism are causing irreparable damage to these ancient monuments. Number 10. Persepolis The city of Persepolis was the ancient capital of Persia and it was founded by powerful kings such as Darius and Xerxes in the 6th century BC. This historic city was looted by Alexander the Great after his military campaigns, so there's still much we don't know about this place. Some believe as an act of vengeance against the Persians, he burned down the city since Xerxes had sacked much of Greece. This was originally discovered in the 1930s and excavations appear to be complete until they found this massive ancient gate. It's believed that it wasn't just any ordinary gate either, but actually an unbelievable feat of architecture and display of wealth. It was actually the gate to Xerxes' palace and displays irreplaceable artwork. This was later dubbed the Gate of All Nations since it displayed his name in various languages of countries that he conquered. Number 9. Mira Roman emperors loved this ancient city and under their rule, the city was thriving from trade during the first few centuries AD. Later on, it was even the capital of the Byzantine Empire for a brief period of time. These stunning tombs are built out of the hillside just above Mira's prize theater. Although they have faded somewhat today, at one point they were brightly colored with brilliant shades of red, yellow, blue, purple when the city had reached its peak in the 4th century BC. Did you think Santa Claus was actually from the North Pole? Try Southern Turkey instead. This photo here actually shows the original tomb of St. Nicholas at the Basilica in this ancient mysterious city. Number 8. Hattusa This historical site in Turkey used to be the former capital of the Hittite Empire, which was one of ancient Egypt's arch enemies. They occupied much of Turkey, parts of modern-day Israel, Lebanon, and Syria. This late Bronze Age city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it was discovered in the early 1900s. The city was completely abandoned around 1200 BC, but much of the city still remains intact. Here we see the Great Sphinx Gate, which was the main entrance to the city. The stone walls that fortify the ancient capital were reconstructed in a similar style of architecture that historians believe would have been used by the civilization. Some amazing pieces of art still remain like this photo of 12 Hittite gods of the underworld. Number 7. Knossos Finding the ancient capital city of the Minoan Empire was one of the most remarkable archaeological discoveries of ancient cities of all time. The disappearance of the Minoans is still somewhat of a mystery, but many believe that a natural disaster such as an earthquake is possible. Some would assume that the island of Crete would have influence from the ancient Greeks, but that's not the case here. In fact, the ancient Minoans had a language that was completely different. The city itself dates back to 2000 BC and believed to be the oldest city in all of Europe. Some believe that at some point in time, around 1100 BC, the city was abandoned under mysterious circumstances. The urban area reached a population of 18,000 people around 2000 BC, but at its peak, it could have hosted as much as 100,000, which was huge in ancient times. Amazing artwork and also pottery was uncovered like you see here. Tourists vacationing in Crete can still be amazed by this ancient bronze city. Number 6. Thebes With ancient Egypt being home to some notable wonders of the ancient world, the Temple of Karnak, located in the ancient city of Thebes, is certainly one that may get overlooked. It's a temple complex that's comprised of temples, chapels, pylons, and other buildings. The Temple of Karnak dates back to 4,000 years ago and has an impressive display of artwork, hieroglyphics, and architecture. 
It's also considered to be the largest religious building ever constructed, covering over 200 acres of land, and was an ancient place of pilgrimage. Enormous ceremonies and festivals were held within its walls each year. When Ramses the Great was pharaoh and Egypt had reached its golden age, this was considered to be the most important of all religious complexes in all the land. Today, the vast statues still remain, but during its peak, you could only imagine its greatness. Number 5. The City of Ur Mesopotamia is considered to be the cradle of civilization and is the fertile valley between the Tigris and Euphrates River in modern-day Iraq. The first organized civilization to call this region home were the Sumerians, and they constructed the first known city called Iraq or Ur around 4500 BC. They evolved from nomadic hunter-gatherer clans to a civilization that would shape the culture of this land for thousands of years to come. Scientists and archaeologists unearthed what's known as a ziggurat, which was a Sumerian-style step pyramid in this ancient capital, which might have looked like this when it was in operational use. How did such advanced systems displayed in this city seemingly spring up overnight from the Stone Age? Number 4. Hanging Gardens of Babylon One of the more enduring mysteries of Mesopotamia and wonders of the ancient world in general is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The city was likely to be one of the most wealthiest in the ancient world and displayed other beautiful works of art such as the Gates of Ishtar we see here. It would have also been located in the ancient city-state of Babylon and was most likely constructed by the Assyrian king, King Nebuchadnezzar, who built this for his wife who was homesick. This illustration portrays King Nebuchadnezzar as a powerful ruler with the hanging gardens in the background in a fairly accurate depiction. This was one of the greatest kings of all time who ruled a confirmed 37 years during a prosperous period of the city-state. The hanging gardens would have most likely been a ziggurat-type structure like we saw in Ur, only covered in lavish gardens from all over the known world. There is no solid archaeological evidence that the gardens ever existed, but it is described in quite detailed accounts, and many large aqueducts leading to Babylon seem to point that there is some evidence that there is something going on here. There isn't a whole lot of Babylon left over for us to see, but Saddam Hussein built his former palace overlooking the ruins that we see here. Number 3. Tikal One of the more recent cities on this list, we thought we'd mention one of the more mysterious cities of the Americas. The Mayan civilization was thriving with complex cities that would rival many European capitals. Machu Picchu wasn't built until the 15th century, making it just a tad bit too old for this list. Situated in present-day Guatemala, the Tikal archaeological dig site shows the Mayans had an advanced civilization and this was estimated to have been built in 732 AD. This was well before Columbus even stepped foot on this continent. Tikal was a large city with roughly 50 to 90,000 people and it prospered for nearly a thousand years. The ancient capital city was mysteriously abandoned in the 10th century, but the amazing structures here still stand tall. The temple of Tikal stands 154 feet tall, making it bigger than Chichen Itza by 56 feet. This photo here shows a skeleton covered in jade balls that was discovered inside the temple of Tikal. It housed the remains of a king, and this iconic structure has been a never-ending source of information for historians. Number 2. Tessifan This mysterious ancient city was once one of the largest during the 6th century AD, and its importance was recognized by the Roman Emperor and later on by the Byzantine Empire. Originally founded in the late 120s BC, its original purpose was to serve as a military encampment by the Parthians. In order for the Romans to have a greater presence in the east, they captured the city a total of five times, three times in the second century alone. It was located about 22 miles south of Baghdad on the eastern bank of the Tigris River. The only notable remains of the city is what's left of the Takasra that we see here, which made up part of the royal palace. What's mysterious about it is that it always seems to be a place that's caught up in some kind of battle even during World War I and the Iraq War. Number 1. Hierapolis even modern-day tourists who come to Hierapolis might not be there to enjoy the history as much as the pools of Pumacale. The hot springs situated here are formed from thermal volcanic activity underground, which heats up the magical water in salt and calcium carbonate. It might look like snow at first glance, but reassure you it's not. It wasn't just modern-day tourists who were attracted to this location, but also the ancient Greeks and Romans. The spa has been used since the 2nd century BC, with many inhabitants of Hierapolis choosing this location as a retirement location or somewhere to spend their final days. Due to this, it's also home to one of the most noble necropolises in Turkey. However, the historical ruins here should not be overlooked as a prime example of Greek and Roman influence in Turkey.
Wow, now that was a cool video, wasn't it? Be sure to check out more of my cool videos over here on American Eye. We'll see you there. Mm-hmm.